my class in the previous classes we discussed Emotionally upset or smokes, 
drinks or take some medicines or suffer from certain diseases the growth of the child adversely affect see when the child is in the mother's womb when the mother does not get the proper nutritious food but due to this environment the mother may develop an activity or a habit or cultivate a habit by smoking or drinking whatsoever automatically it is going to have a very adverse effect on the child's growth and development then the second point in the environment is emotional climate of home adversely affect the child's growth and development such as lot of fights at home or the child is not given enough love and attention or there is physical or mental
automatically the child can get whatever he wants and whatever he desires to do. So he will be put in an optimal level of growth and development. So he will be having all the ways to grow because he will not be having any stressful life. He can do whatever he wants because there is money where he can spend and he can develop all the qualities of his by code. So the last point is very clear, it says that children coming from an advocate finance status, they grow up to an optimal level where you compare to the poor condition family and you compare to the poor condition family. This is the points of nationality, how this is going to influence the growth and development. And the last point comes, the nutrition. As we discussed in the early chapters, saying that nutrition plays a very important role in growth as well as the development. How this is going to influence? Yes, the first point. Proper nutrition is essential for the healthy development of the child. Yes, on time food, proper nutritious food with the calories which is going to influence. The second point, malnutrition mother produces weak baby and the malnourished child grow may be retarded or slow. The thing is that when a mother or woman is pregnant, she should be given good healthy food. The medication should be taken care and if she doesn't get a proper healthy food, automatically she is going to produce a weak baby. And the child with a malnourished child is not going to have full growth and development. Then comes over nutrition may cause obesity. Yes, over intake of food or the calories, obesity, and the obesity is nothing but the accumulation of fat. The accumulation is fat is called as a obesity. So to control the nutritional requirement of mother, it is necessary to have a healthy child. So if a woman should want to have a healthy child, she should have control over the food. Even it should not be less intake, even it should not be more. So we say that when there is a less intake of nutrition, we call it as malnourished or malnutrition. When we just take it more, we call it as overnutrition, where the child will be obese. So it should be in a neutral, it should be in a neutral level. So both the mother as well as the child will be healthier. Then comes the last point in this nutrition is that lack of proper nutrition can interfere with the maturation of child, brain and body. It is not only the physical growth, it is also the overall development of the child where this nutrition is going to influence. So please don't make a note saying that by eating only the physical growth is there. It is not that even the brain, the maturation of the child also involved in this. So in the today's class, we discuss the factors that which is going to influence the growth and development. That is, the first one is the heredity, the second one comes uh, the environment, the third comes the nationality and the fourth and the last point comes the nutrition. This is all about the factors which is going to influence the growth and development. Dear students, I hope today's discussion is worth and you have understood and with a new topic we will be meeting in the next class.